Welcome to Computational Science YouTube channel. This is a physics laboratory classes. Today we are going to see how to measure the currents and how you can find the total currents in the circuits. So this is our title. So our objective is finding the currents on the circuits. So uh, as you know that the, in the circuit currents can be measured using the ammeters. We are using ammeters. Ammeters is the apparatus that are using to measure the circuits or the currents that can be follows on the circuits. So there are many uh, materials that you are using for measuring the small currents. For example, just like milliampere, microampere, uh, nanoampere. And uh, in the general, the galvanometer is, uh, is the apparatus that we are using to measure the small currents. As well as, as the currents can be measured the, uh, uh, the amount of flow of the current in the circuit, the voltage or the uh, potential difference across two points can be measured using voltmeter. So we are using voltmeter and we are measuring the voltage that can be flows uh, under the uh, circuits. So uh, the units or the uh, apparatus using the measure the uh, uh, potential difference is voltmeter. We are using uh, voltmeter and we are measuring the uh, potential difference across the circuit and then there are small units that we are using uh, to measure the potential just like millivolt, microvolt, and nanovolts. So in the circuits, when you are uh, connecting the circuit, a meter is always can be uh, uh, can be connected in series and the voltmeter can be uh, attached or, the, or it can be connected in the parallel ways when you are connecting the circuits. So the apparatus that we are using to measure the currents and the voltage across the circuit is simply this is the circuit board. We are using the circuit boards. This circuit board is simply we are using this as to uh, put the material just like a switch, uh, uh, resistor, and uh, bulbs. We are attaching just like this. This is just for this purpose. We are using the circuit boards. Another apparatus is the power supply. This is a power supply. This is a power supply. This this is the uh, power supply. Then another we are using bulbs. This is the bulbs or this can give us a light. This is the switch. A switch. This is a switch. So this is connecting cable. Connecting cable. This is the connecting cable. This is the apparatus that we are using to measure the current is a meter. So we are using this. This two red color can be indicated for the positive one. This is the black one is expressed for the negative one. Another apparatus is to measure the voltage or potential difference. We are using this material. This is voltmeter. So the same as with the ammeter. This two one is indicated for the positive one. This is for the negative one. This is the apparatus that we are using to measure the currents and the voltage in the circuit. This is the circuit that we are do today. Here this is here is, we have power supplies here. Here we have a meter. Here we have a switch. Here we have a bulbs or light bulbs. From this light bulbs, we have voltmeter one. This voltmeter measures the amount of voltage that crossing on this bulb one. The second we have here switch two. Here we have the second bulb, light bulbs. Then we have the voltage two. The voltage two can be measure the amount of potential difference across in the second bulbs. So this is a this is the procedure. Let us do this procedure in the practical one. So this is the circuit board from this figure. The first one is power supply. Here we have a power supply. This is a circuit board. So from the power supplies, from the power supplies, we are putting one in positive and one in negative. This is a positive one. This is connecting cable. Then we are attaching just like this. This is the negative one. This is a positive one. Then the second step is the first or the positive one is connected to the ammeter. This is our ammeter. We are connected with an ammeter. The positive is a positive one. Positive. This is positive. Then, the when it can be inserting in positive, it can be out in the negative. We are put here or we are connected with the cable, with the series, with the power. Then, from the ammeter is connected with the first switch by making a junction, junction between them. So, from this figure, here we have a junction, we are put as a junction from the ammeter and the first switch. So we are make a junction in just like this junction. So here, 
there we are connecting with the first switch this is a switch we are connected with switch then they are connected with switch just like this then this is go for goes to the switch to the from this junction the one cable is goes to the switch to then we are connected this is the second switch we are put here just like this so now using the cable from the first switch from the, the first switch it goes with the first bulbs from this we are going connect with the first bulbs here this is the first bulb we are connect this we are connecting with the cable then from this cable it's back to the original power so we are connecting with the original power this is original power we are connecting this to this then from the first bulb we have a voltmeter we are connected with the voltmeter we are connected with the voltmeter this is the voltmeter we are attaching here from the first bulb we are connecting this ammeter here from voltmeter then we are putting this like this so for the second switch it's connected with the bulb connected with the bulb then we are attaching with the voltmeter We have the second bulbs here. We are putting here the second bulbs. Then from this we have a voltmeter, second voltmeter. We are connecting this positive. Then from this, from this back to the junction and to, to, to the uh, power supply, it's back to the junction. So we are constructing the junction. Here we have a junction. Then it comes back to the power. This is back to the power. This is overall the circuit. This circuit means simply when you are practically do it, you have just like this. this circuits is the same as with this this is the circuit here power here we have a meter then from this have <coughs> here we have junction so from this junction it's connected with the first bulbs in the first bulbs we have a voltmeter voltmeter is connected the same as for the second switch here we have a bulbs so this is all about the procedures the procedure is done as using from this figure we are constructed in the practical way in just like this then after we are constructed just like this, uh, we are collecting the data. We can take a data. Our data is connected. Uh, first, we have a switch. Here we have a switch. A switch type, switch one. This is switch one. This is switch two. So switch one, switch two. Then switch one plus two means when these two switch are uh, on and it can be transferred the current. Then that in this table it is current, current, current I1 means when the switch one, switch one is on and the switch two is off. When the current is only crossing on the switch one, then we are record I1. Then for the second one, when the current can be crossing on the switch two, whether the current uh, one is uh, off. So is the same as volt voltage when the current can be follows from this circuit it can we are read from this voltmeter and at the end by owning this switch we are uh, found the voltage and the current let us do together first step is by owning means we are connecting just like this. from this switch you can off the first the second switch you are on the first switch let us on the first switch we are owning the first switch then then when you are, what you are seeing is when the light can be passing from the circuit this light give a light this bulb is give a light from this so when this light is give a light the voltmeter is recording the amount of voltage that can be dropped on this so this is the current is also a measure the current that can be crossing on this so when we are measuring this the second switch is it is on due to this the, the second bulb is not give a light so let us measure from this what is amount of voltage so from this voltage the voltage drop is on this 
bulb is around 2.6 around 2.6 so we can uh, record this this result is on this table the uh, voltage on the switch one is 2.6 volts from this 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 is 2.5 this is 2.6 the current that can be crossing on this is the each current is crossing on this is 0 0.1 this is 0 0.1 this is 0 point so our current is 0 0.2 ampere so from this we have current 0 0.2 ampere when our voltage is 2.6 volts when the current only crossing on the first switch whether the second switch is off and from this light amount of the potential differences we are recording is from the second step we can make off the second the first switch we are offing the first switch then we are on the second switch when we are owning the second switch so we are measure the current from this and we are measure the, the voltage from this so the voltage is, is around the voltage is around 2.6 the same with the first test our voltage is 2.6 voltage it's 2.6 voltage so our current is our current is around to 0 0.25 around 0 0.25 so we can take 0 0.25 ampere so when the first switch is on and the second switch is off we have just like this result when the first switch off and the second switch is on we have this light the third step is by owning two switch simultaneously and we are measure the voltage across the circuit and the current so let us own these two circuits simultaneously so now the current can be flows in these circuits in both the switch one and we both bulb one and bulb two so from this our vo what is the voltage and what is the current so we can say that our current is our current is from this around 0 0.1234 0 0.44 as i think around 0. Point something so due to this we are take our total when the light is crossing between these two switch our uh, total current is can be measured this total current means the current that can flow in the bulb one and the current can flows in the bulb two is can be measured here from the meter so this current is around 0 0.44 something or four or around 0 0.45 something is our voltage is our potential difference is around uh, 2.1234 around 0 uh, 2.4 around yes someone is can be this is due to some fluctuations make some differences but the voltage across these two are equals is probably because the voltage the potential the, uh, differences are equals is if you know from the theory potential difference across the circuits using this expression when general is equals is, but the current is the summation of this so our potential is around 2.6 uh no no two points four five around four five so this is the data so from this data we are conclude that is, we are conclude that the current is entering for in the first bulbs and the current entering the second bulb is in general given by i total is equal with i1 plus i2 because the entering current and the exiting exiting current are equal so generally i total is the summation of the first uh, uh, currents through the first switch and the second step let us check from the data i total means 0. Point, i1 means 0 0.2 0 0.2 plus i2 is 0 0.25 so the total is around 0 0.45 this is the experimentally what you are getting is have just like this when you are read from the general one it says that 0 0.44 due to some errors it have some differences but probably it is equal from the theory we can say that i total means i1 plus i2 due to due to some fluctuation of uh, 
the resistance across the cables it have some changes but probability is equal to voltage means v total is from the circuit is equal with v1 is equal to v2 it is continuous v total so from this expression if you are seeing v total means we can get around 2.45 in general the v1 is 2.6 it is equal with 2.6 uh, six. So the potential difference across the circuit is approximately due to some fluctuation to have some difference, but it's probably it is equal. So from this expression, we can conclude that is when the measuring the current in the circuit, entering and out in the circuit is the summation, the potential difference across the circuit are probably equal. So this is how to measure voltage and the current is from the circuits. Uh, so you are doing just like these experiments and you are conducting your abilities to doing the experiments. Thank you for